Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. I had an interesting request come up on TikTok, sweeter after difficulty. Um, you were asking if I could do a journey into thought prisons around planet Earth. And so actual interdimensional space is, is kind of what it, it seems to me that you're referencing. Interdimensional space is that perhaps pull consciousness in or aspects of a soul into a space and then trap the soul there. And it could be multitudes of souls. I've seen this before. So um, yes, that does exist. How does it exist? I mean, I, I haven't really um, dove into it all that much because I'll either be called to or I won't. Maybe you asking about this is me being called to explore it. Anyway, I don't know what time I'm going to have. I might be interrupted, but I thought, hey, live on, live on a whim today. I'm in my car, might get a phone call, but I don't know when. Maybe we could explore some thought prisons around planet Earth here. <laughs> so I'm going to chill, close my eyes. I've been making shorts about how to develop your psychic ability, and it's not easy to talk about it in 60 second blips, but... I'm working on figuring out how to make meaningful and useful content in short blips, and it's actually a fun challenge. Um, but I'm actually going to be doing what I'm talking about in the psychic development playlist of shorts that I just started. <laughs> I'm going to be closing my eyes, silencing my energy field here, and going within my heart to see what comes up. And for me, it feels like there's a whole ocean of information, so I don't feel it internally. I feel it sort of externally around me, and I'm going to be entering into a space for us to understand thought prisons today, okay? So I'm going to pause. I take your intention, sweeter after difficulty. Thank you for this request. Asking the universe to offer some feedback here about thought prisons around planet Earth. That's really going to be useful for us. If there's something I can heal, show me. Also, this could be a teaching tool to help you work with intention to see what comes up for you about thought prisons around planet Earth. Nothing scary about this at all, okay? <laughs> okay, it's pretty dark. Nothing scary at all, okay? <laughs> it's pretty dark. Um, the darkness is heavy. It's kind of surrounding me all around me. It's almost like I'm wearing it. I'm wearing the very thick air of darkness, okay? And so I'm walking into a space that's kind of enclosing. And I'm standing here. Vibrationally, I need to kind of go into the sensation. It's meant to feel um, like there's no way out. It's meant to feel trapped. It's meant to feel like a prison. And it's very hard to see who else is here. It's almost like I'm here all alone. And that's part of the manipulation is for you to feel like you're trapped and you're the only one that's trapped. You're the only one here. Kind of reminds me of depression in a way. But they say this isn't, depression has more of a direct effect. You could identify it and you could exist in the prison of depression. It is a prison. It's a total emotional prison. It can be very addictive. It's a very dangerous type of condition to have. It's hard to conquer it. So it reminds me of depression, but this is indirect. This is like... Um, not aware that you're in a shroud and that you're in a container of sorts. How would this translate through the day-to-day -day human life? There's so much that we can't keep up with in our conscious mind, so you would consider that a subconscious exchange, con subconscious communication that's happening, but it's all vibration that flows through you and you're impacted, so you could have anxiety for reasons you don't understand. Nonsensical reasons. Why do I feel like this? I don't know why. I feel like alone and I'm surrounded by people and I, I don't know why I feel that way. So you're picking up on interdimensional information, vibrational exchanges. Your soul isn't just in this body. Your soul is across the whole universe and your soul is many parts of itself. And so you take a mirror and shatter the mirror 
you are still the whole mirror, but you're also all the pieces, okay? And sometimes that hurts. You have to collect yourself over time to remember the mirror, but to show the mirror a new representation of itself based upon the many pieces. So it becomes a beautiful thing, life, okay? I'm going to sit down for a minute in this space. All right. I'm sitting down and being still so I can listen to other sounds here because it, it works with blindness so you can't tell where you are, what, what's going on. And so when you become still in an energy space, you'll gather more feedback. A strange sort of writing on the ground, on the walls, and I'm starting to kind of move the darkness away. It's all in sort of a, right, a white, um, it's kind of like runes. But they're all connected. The shapes are all connected, but it seems to be a connected language. Imagine A and B and C are, are actually part of this like big shape. And so you read the message by looking at all these sort of connected sort of shapes. Letters are shapes. And then that is your information. That's your communication. But it's kind of got a, it's a vibrationally, you know, it's like a lock and key of sorts. It's a vibrational lock and key. It's like a voice recognition, but this is shapes. This is vibration through shapes, sacred geometry recognition, okay? I become what is written on the ground. Oh my God. It's a, it's food. It's, um, when I become this lock and key, Basically, like my soul, it, it opens up a vast sort of planetary body um, with many dimensional spaces and many people contained in each one like bugs in jars, okay? And because I'm a soul, I have a mega eye. We all have it. There's nothing special about me. You have this mega eye. You can see too. Um, and so you can see thousands of things at once, okay? And I can tell that in the container that the, the, one of the main ingredients is separation. And that through separation, it's like um, cutting away the soul. You guys ever watch the movie on um, the Golden Compass? And then they cut the familiar away from the child. And that familiar, like their, their animal is part of their own spirit, their own body. So when the, the animal is cut away, they kind of die, you know? And... So it's kind of like um, we're cut away from each other. We are literally cut away from each other. I've often felt like this cell phone is literally, um, we're all in prisons of our own individual kind. And that the cell phone helps me communicate with you in your prison and you in your prison. I know it's a morbid viewpoint. It's just an idea, okay? It's not everything, it's just one thing, okay? And that this is the tool that actually S separates our souls from each other's souls and but you always have connection here within the heart always have connection within the heart to each other so you can close your eyes and go within and be a part of everything but there's something important about human exchange you know so this is an interdimensional space feeding into our everyday lives we're going on eight billion people so whatever seven billion somethings um, we're all somehow a part of this space and you could say, well, are we all, a lot of people are part of this space. So when I become that lock and key I described, I feel like my, my soul is being like little pieces are being pinched and removed. And then in these little pieces they're like little put that little piece in a jar like a bug in a jar and then the jar itself starts to absorb okay the emanation like a lightning bug put in a jar and maybe in some childlike fantasy this is our new flashlight or something and so this is like the technology that pulls energy from souls to feed something larger so we as souls could be generating something enormous in another dimensional space 
So you often hear people talk about, you know, why is it that we have to focus so much on negativity? It's almost like something that feeds off of negativity um, is is a part of this world feeding off of us. So we could also be generating a, a much larger technology in another dimension, requiring our soul's energy in order to power it. Okay, <laughs> that is true as well. All right. So yes, souls, we, we are impacting other dimensions, whether we can see those dimensions or not. My guides are asking me, why doesn't that scare me or bother me? And it's like, I've, you know, once you start to navigate interdimensional spaces all the time, every day, Monday through Sunday, for hours, <laughs> for years, you, this stuff was like, pfft, mind-blowing at first but now i'm starting to understand that that a single life and the domino effect is inconceivable through a human lens you can't conceive of it of it all so all i can do is go within and just see what feels right for me and then learn and then share what i learned because that feels right to me okay if i get a call that is the end of this message, just so you know. <laughs> and I will post this. <laughs> All right. As is. What else? Um, what else is the most important thing I could share about this topic? Thought prisons. Okay. The, the next most important thing is um, how do we fix it? Okay. I'm sending a signal, which is just vibration into every single one of these chambers and it's basically like a spirit guides silent voice inside yourself saying um to find joy it's like um find the trees and find a you know fresh fruit over the microwavable meal or something um find friendship or find a conversation find local groups start a local group like um generating connection generating connection see a lot of people just are so tired anymore a lot of souls just so tired anymore they just want to sleep and so if you sleep in this space um you know there's divine time so you can sleep in the space but when you wake up it's going to be very weird and i've seen that before too many times so souls can fall asleep and it disturbs me when i find them because what wakes them up divine time but what's the what's time in eternity if your soul falls asleep in eternity you've been asleep for eternity so it's the only way to actually die as a soul but you never truly die you just awaken in divine time and that's a very disorienting creepy freaky event when that happens there's a trauma about it and souls endure trauma yes they do we're not talking about being at source where everything is in harmony we're talking about interdimensional learning between a human body and a soul and that you are your soul while you're in the human body and your soul is going all over in the astral plane in every dimension and experience and all time exists simultaneously okay while it also can be perceived in different ways so everything exists all right so i'm sending signals to you could say every single person on the planet um listen to the trees um go within no wonder i'm making the psychic development i'm sure it's because i feel in a world where this there it's convenient it's convenient to create this buzzword that's misinformation it's a very convenient thing to do and then to advertise and broadcast it um, and then to give people the permission and the power to to call it out that that's misinformation um, but there's no conversation about it this is my personal experience this is coming from a depth and a place of vision and a place of hours and incomprehensible time in a human life where my whole life is devoted to acquiring this perception just because you can't understand how i figured it out doesn't mean that there's not depth and meaning to this exchange here so calling it inf misinformation one word to take someone's whole life's work and then just defile it in one word so now we have permission to change everything 
that we don't like that information. So now we're going to call misinformation and change it so it suits some superficial need. Okay, that's very dangerous. That's thought prison level stuff. Okay, and what influences it? The bug in the jar, the desperate need to put people in containers and to lance the soul's connection from all the other souls. So we literally are going to die as a, a collective. Okay, and so we are slowly suffocating right now. And you could probably say, well, shh, S-H-I-T. I feel like I'm suffocating. Oh, really? Oh, so you might actually be more, more mindful about your soul's interdimensional connections than you realize you just couldn't put a logical explanation to it. That's why those psychic development shorts, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can explain how to do what I do in very short bits. Because in the end, it doesn't matter what is defined as information or misinformation. You have to find the information inside yourself. You have to learn how to go within and find the information. That is the most important thing I can offer society because that's the thing I live my whole life to learn how to do this, to then share how to do this. That way I can help all the other souls here on the planet if I can, you know, if I can reach people, I don't know, um, from my thought prison world. <laughs> <laughs> and from heaven because I'm also there <laughs> you know I'm everywhere so and I'm in hell too I mean I'm everywhere that doesn't bother me um because love is everywhere and I am the love that is everywhere and we are all the love that is everywhere which means that the containers that's the trick that's the riddle the container itself is also love even if it is deception and that if we could see that deception is love, what, how would deception be love? How would that ever be love? Because it's, it's challenging you to become self-aware and take ownership with a, a certain level of depth and intelligence because the intelligence isn't educational. It's self-awareness and it's time and thought-provoking you know, time, self-communicating, reflecting, thinking, exploring many different avenues of concepts, um, and then talking about in a very genuine exchange that could take hours and days even to go through it all. And it, instead of just one word, okay? Those words are power words. So be careful of words, power words, okay? Power words in the energy world, no. <laughs> so if a, if a spirit wants to be like, um, you know, wants to possess my body, no. No. Okay. So that's a power word. So that's my space. <laughs> that's my space. Bam. Energetically solved that one. Okay. Because I use a power word. And power word is stop. Power word is yes. Like, um, I don't know what to do. I want to kind of do this. Yes. Yes. Do it. No gray area, okay? So power word takes away gray area and it gives you the only way. It is a solid singular pathway. And so now if we align with misinformation, now we are in a place where we are in the container of it. And now we don't really know what's information, what's not information, hence the world we live in today, where we all don't know really what's the truth, what's not the truth. We are in the power word thought prison of misinformation. How do you get out of it? You go within, right? You go within. And then you just don't worry about it. You're just like, hmm, misinformation, I don't even know what that is. Because I know me, and I know the best I can understand, and I know about love, and I know about human exchange, and I know what creates happiness, and I know what creates a thriving human being, and that I'm going to align with that. You know, so now the, the, there is no such thing as misinformation. I just got myself out of a thought prison because I can align with my spirit and my spirit is whole and I value those whole exchanges. You know, I value that we can question each other. I think it's healthy, but we don't need to, to choke each other to death, put each other back in our amputated soul splicing jars so then we can die, suffocate you know, and feed a bigger machine that we can't comprehend. Okay. So, so if I were to summarize this, <sighs> I'm going back to the space. I sent a signal 
the deception is, is the love that is the container. So now I'm placing my hands upon all the containers, which is lots of containers because I'm everything. I'm the fabric of everything. You are also. The more of us that say enough is enough. Love is, love is, love is information. Love is my world. Love is beautiful. I am love. We are love. Love is rich. Love is wealth. Love is abundance. Love heals all things. Love is unconditional, you know? That's the divine truth. So I place that divine truth upon all the fabric of this space and its desperate need to literally separate people and put them in little jars like bugs until we suffocate to death. And then what? Who owns the souls? Because trust me, there is an owner of all of this. So who's that invisible person? What's the, what's the spark of inspiration for this? Let's see if we can find it. You know, you ask a question and then you go within your heart, not your head. Go within your heart. Your heart is where you're plugged into everything, okay? But you're going to use all, the, all your chakras, okay? So you are going to use your mind and you ask questions and stuff and you're going to see stuff. You're going to feel about stuff, okay? And you're going to use all of your chakras then to experience what comes forward. This isn't regular thinking. This is total body experience, okay? In a meditation, and it's fun and adventurous. So who is the spark of inspiration? Like what, what's these jars are for who? Oh, the soulless. Oh, okay. Who owns the thought prison that I'm being presented with today? Now parallel to day-to-day -to -day human life. This isn't so outside the box, is it? Some of us do feel like we're suffocating to death. Some of us just want to sleep because our souls are so stinking tired and never wake up again. You know, this is scary. This is what creates depression and anxiety and all this. This is why our world is struggling, okay? So those humans um, who chose to renounce their own soul, how do you renounce your own soul? How do you sell your soul? You sell your soul when you stop caring about the well-being of others and you're the only one that matters. When you're the only one that matters and you use people to shield yourself, protect yourself, you manipulate them to do things for you, you guilt trip them when they don't do it. Um, you're, you're afraid all the time, basically. I can't even fathom being that kind of person. Um, but you find more and more power and then you rise up the ranks and you stand as the only one on top of the mountain. And then once you're on top of the mountain, you, you, you now can control all the souls beneath you, okay? Because all your fear and insecurity and desperate need for everybody to nurture your well-being because that's, you know, the only reason why I was born was to be a slave to somebody that was way more important to me than me, okay? We were all born, you, you hear my sarcasm, right? We were all born to serve one dumb human being, okay? That we were dumb enough to behave as servants and slaves to the most insecure and weakest links of our race, okay? The weakest links of our race own and control all the souls. That's why they have to exhaust us to, to the point that we just want to give up and fall asleep and never wake up again because then we're becoming weaker than they are and then they're feeding off of all our soul energy. And so that they could have a soul because we would give up our soul for them. Now, parallel this to day-to-day -day human life, okay? Let the wheels turn and then think for yourself. This is my personal experience. This is the message. Sweeter after difficulty, you inspired this. Thank you for that. This was a TikTok comment I got. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. I'll put a link in the description on the psychic development shorts. And we're talking 60 second blips here, okay? I'm inspired to write like a manual around this, but whenever I start to expand on these big projects, it takes a very long time to dance around everything that my like, I am like fueled by so much that I, I don't know how to like contain myself sometimes. And then <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, a like everything everywhere. I've got like 10,000 things to say in a single second. And then I have to organize it all and I, I can't do it. 
I'm learning, okay, as I go. I had this like big project for my website and that fell flat on his face. And I think there's a divine time for things too. <laughs> anyway, maybe there'll be a manual for all of this one day, okay? Just like, just let it be one day for me, okay? <laughs> maybe 20 years from now, maybe. <laughs> for now, this video, okay? <laughs> and I'll put a link in the description about the psychic development shorts and this basic stuff. How to move your mind into your heart, go within and see what comes up. Whenever something comes up, you stay with it. If it's nothing, that's still something. Stay with it, see where it takes you. If it's darkness, I saw darkness today. It's not nothing, it's not just darkness. There's something hidden in the darkness. How does it make you feel? You've got to be extremely mindful. You've got to learn these mindful skills, okay? So a cyclic development is just mindfulness. That's all it is. So I'll put that link in the description. Also, I'm doing psychic development in like a little group on my Patreon. So if it interests you, if you want to hang out with me and we can um, hang out in the group and do journeys together, go out to Patreon. It's the love and light tier. I'll put a link in the description for that too. So that's probably like the path I'm going to be navigating more is, is teaching people how to go within. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a like, share the video. I think it's like solid content. Um, I mean, I, I think it's pretty good content. I think it's kind of like an answer in its own right. <laughs> so yeah, you know, share it and stuff. Hit the notification bell, subscribe. Um, yeah, thank you guys for listening in. I guess I didn't get that phone call. I'm like waiting because I have an appointment with, you know, for another family member. I got to go pick them up when they're done. So I'm waiting for that phone call. <laughs> I'm just like, sure, it's going to happen any minute now. Anyway, blah, 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 blah everything go to the description more information there bye for now <laughs>